Hi, this is Yogi Cameron, and uh, the question is, you want more energy, and you want to do more, right? Yes, I know, we all do. But how do we do this? It's a complicated thing, and it's a simple thing at the same time. We make it more complicated, but it's actually quite simple, right? So let's talk about this for a moment. Making more energy available to ourselves is how we get more energy. How do we do this? We do it through having a little bit more discipline. That means we don't put our energy into things that have no meaning, right? We conserve the energy instead of just giving it away. Everybody's kind of got this energy within them. Our body's producing energy, the mind's producing energy, we take in food, it's producing energy, uh, the sun is energy, you know, outside, the wind, everything, nature is energy. So we have it all around us, but what we do is we misuse it, or we put it into something that has no meaning or we put it into something that doesn't give us any energy back. And that's one of the biggest problems, because we need to be in, in an energy exchange, meaning that if I'm in a conversation, I'm getting something back here. That means I'm having an exchange. I'm going backwards and forwards. I'm kind of getting energized by this whole conversation. It's not one of those conversations that I'm speaking and then getting drained right? And also for the other person. So we engage together, we uh, share in energy, that's how we keep things going. But if it's one-sided, you know how you're having a conversation sometimes and you just feel like, oh, I'm already tired. That's not an exchange. So that's a good example of how you need to move away out of those kind of conversations. You know how those conflicts come and they drain you? Move away. Avoid them. Don't get into them. See them coming and, and know that they're going to drain you. So making more energy available to you is how you have more energy at times. So that's one way. Create more energy by using less of it. That means you've got a certain amount of energy because you've eaten some great food and you've sat in the sun a little bit and you've got some great energy from the sun. Don't just give it away. Don't start just thinking, oh my God, I feel amazing. I'm just going to throw this energy around. And you start listening to music, then you do something else, then you do something else. And slowly, slowly, you get tired. So it's like, energy is like money. We tend to have a lot of it. Uh, we start to give a lot of it away, but not for the right reasons. We just waste it. So that's another way that we're going to conserve energy is by not being careless with it right? Especially when we have a lot of it. We store it up a little bit and we use it when necessary. And using energy carefully in all our activities, that's another way. You know how you're doing something, uh, you're riding a bike, you're going down the beach, you're driving your car, whatever it is. A lot of these things are becoming very draining. How do you conserve the energy? By being careful how much energy you do within that activity. If you're playing tennis and you've got a lot of energy, of course, you're going to be tired after that game if you just give it your all. And you're not a competitor, right? You and I are not in the Olympic Games, so we don't have to give it our all. And sometimes people think, yeah, but if I don't give it my all, I didn't know how good I was. Well, I think from my point of view, I don't want to give all my energy up to just one thing to one game, because I'm going to be exhausted. And then what do I do for the rest of the day? What do I do with all the other things that I need to get done? So I tend to spread out the energy in the things that I need to do. And then sure, I may be doing something, I'm doing my practice in the morning, but I don't want to do it so energetically that then for the rest of the day, I don't have any energy. I want to spread it out. So these are the ways that we really conserve energy, we guard energy, we store it up, then we use it and we spread it around. So think more in this term that energy is a commodity. It's something that I can uh, touch and feel and that way you won't give it away so much and you'll be very careful and you'll put it into exactly the right things that you need to. Anyway, think about that. Namaste.